just think about it. You have over 100 people, uh, young men and men, ages 12 to 17, and then a plethora of men from ages 20-something all the way up to 60-something. And they're all here bringing their energy, bringing their thoughts, their love, their compassion, their experiences, their wisdom. They're bringing everything. They, they don't leave anything at home. They bring it all here and they share it and they help the young men tap into that. I think for youth today, there's so many distractions in their lives. I think if they don't have a life purpose, if they don't have a clear identity of who they are and their role in the world and their place in it, I think it's so easy for them to fall into drugs, alcohol, whatever. They're, there's just nothing to keep them on track. So if we can instill in them a, a desire for a purpose in the first place, a desire and a, a heart for wanting more out of life, then I think we've done something. I love just working with a, a group of men that's committed to a s single purpose. My job was to make young men more aware of themselves as young men and their responsibilities in the world. Their responsibilities to themselves, their community, Young men, almost since birth, are bombarded uh, by information. And it's, a lot of the information is information that they have no control over. But it's information that some of us feel controls them. And for them to be aware of that, I feel, is very important. And that they be objective, try to be objective. No, don't accept everything that's written, everything they see. Ask questions. They don't have boundaries. Uh, they're constantly testing for boundaries, but nobody's giving them boundaries. I'm, I'm generalizing when I say that, but uh, they need to know where the line's drawn and what they cannot do and what they can't cross. And they need, they need to know that there are consequences for themselves and their community if they do cross. What I see in the young men when I come here, I see them look at their feet on Friday night when they speak to anyone and when they leave on Sunday they're looking you in the eye they're standing up straight um, the change that occurs in 48 hours uh, leaves me speechless the juice that I get from that is the changes are fantastic the confidence that they they exude as they go through this seeing the young man just doing their roles and in their teams and participating to the fullest is a beautiful thing. I have my son, my young man, who's 15 here this weekend. And uh, I see a change. You know, he, uh, he came to me yesterday and said, Dad, I understand now why you do a lot of things. The circling up, I see that, I see that now. And I can only speak from my own experience, and I see it so clearly now with so many young men. It's a choice that you make, and you make it early on. It's absolutely tragic. I think it's their, their biggest challenge is relationships, is getting in relationships with other men. And then the relationships with women will go from there. I know it's part of my life to, to do, to give back to the community and be part of the community. I just try and bring a sense of teamwork, uh, just to make sure that everyone can uh, get together, just come together and uh, get uh, get what's done that needs to be done. Bring the compassion and the compassionate listening. My life experience, I, I bring the essence of the wolf and wisdom and vision. I was the carrier of the vision. Fatherhood, like love of fatherhood and children. I bring power as a man. A sense that they are more capable than they think they are. I brought endurance, guidance. I bring hard work, legacy, and honesty. Teamwork, lots of teamwork. But friendship and participation. Personally, I think it's energy. I bring a lot of energy, you know, I'm a yelling guy. A lot of inspiration and love. 
a sense of direction with me because now I know more what I'm doing and how important it is to have goals and follow through with them and have a plan for life. I got a lot of experience in the wilderness and taking a couple goals home for next year in school and stuff. I learned how to uh, build a raft and work as a team really well and that was pretty cool. Some things that I learned from the quest that we did the other day, just something I learned about myself, learning like what I need to do to be successful in order to like proceed in my life other than being held back by distractions. I learned that I have a uh, I apparently have a sense of uh, courageous leadership that I never really knew was there. I mean, most of the time, I, if I ever considered trying to lead something, I never really thought I'd be able to get that far because I never thought a lot of people respected me. But after this, after being at this weekend, I learned that I can take charge and I can, I can get people's respect. Young men have got tremendous energy. What I get from this particular uh, weekend is that um, I get to spend great time with my son is here and uh, my grandson is here and uh, it's totally amazing being here with uh, two people I, I love the most. I believe that everyone that has been involved in this has put their best foot forward and given everything that they possibly have and that makes me incredibly happy and proud to be amongst these men. One major thing I learned this weekend was just an insight that um, um, I don't think in modern society here in Canada that young men have very many opportunities to actually be themselves uh, unless they are behind their bedroom doors. Um, there's too much peer pressure, uh, lack of understanding from their, uh, their elders, so to speak adults um, and also the insight that once they feel comfortable here they actually do let themselves out that uh, we can live peacefully and clean things up quickly and effectively and to uh, to make a difference to contribute to those around us so that's what I'm taking a knowledge of the power that we all have as men to make a difference not only in our lives but in the rest of the world too and I learned uh, how great their spirit is at, uh, at their age and stage in, uh, in life. Well, I got that space, you know, I found space where, you know, out, outside of uh, an environment like this, it's not there. You're always being crowded and people are always pushing, you know, coming at you. And here there's that space to explore and I got that. Um, I got that, um, that feeling of it's okay to mess up and it's okay to to take risks and look and go. That exploration, I got that, those green lights. You know, it was huge for me. And the biggest is, is knowing that I've made a difference. Uh, some ways I've seen how I have, other ways I won't know. But I know when you look around, you feel the energy of the young men from when they came in to when they leave. You know you've done well. Seeing the young men just doing their roles and in their teams and participating to the fullest is a beautiful thing. I'd have to say peer pressure, you know, guns, drugs, drinking, all that. Just the peer pressure, it's, it's huge. Mm. Um, I'd say pollution and the bad treatment of nature. Well, really, I, if I had to say anything, it would probably have to be the environment. Because really, if not for the environment, nothing would be here today. If we get rid of it, how much longer can we really last? Anything you want to say about this weekend? It's Let awesome. It I mean, how could you not like that? Like, look at that. <laughs> it's great two days, you know, just bonding with other men. It's great fun. Think you'll come back? Every year. Yeah, it was it was great. Like, look at this view. It's like awesome. It's like, yeah. Think you'll come back? Yeah, definitely. Tell your friends. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I'll be back. Let's see how you and Moina. I feel and I hope that we make a difference. 
and I don't have a choice. We have to continue this battle. Young men, ages 12 to 17, come to the Weimar. It's fun. There's a lot of love here. Okay. I encourage anybody that's looking right now is just to reach out and, you know, uh, spend some time with a young man, bring them to a young men's adventure weekend, and uh, it's just an incredible experience, and it's been a real honor and a privilege to serve uh, these young men this weekend. Uh, it's a great place. It's fun. It's come and meet a bunch of new people and just have a fun time. I think you do it again. Is there anything else you'd like to say? I am so proud to be here. Uh, it is an honor to, uh, to serve these young men and to be here in this amazing location. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to say that, uh, if possible, I say that all young men should really try and um, find out about this program and get in on it. Because it's a great program. You can learn a lot. Make, make new friends, learn some lessons, learn some stuff about yourself, about the world, and all kinds of stuff like that. Awesome experience. Uh, I'm addicted, and uh, I will be here celebrating all of my birthdays as long as the, uh, the, if the days uh, line up like they have been. And... Uh, Anyone who's not here is missing out big time. Oh yeah, great sight, good view, lots of good people. It was awesome. Looking forward to next year's Young Men's Adventure Weekend.